wake up! It's science time! But uh, it's Phil and I'm sometimes too loud. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. I'm in my lab and to be honest, anywhere is my lab because, you know, in my space is wherever I'm doing science and that is generally everywhere. We are going to make our own little foam rockets that will fire directly into your brains. I have a few bits and pieces that you'll need. Generally, you'll have them around the house. If you don't, it's all right. There are bits that you can substitute in. You will need the foam. We have a card. We have something we got from the, uh, the website, which I'll talk about in a little bit. Uh, string, uh, thumbtack, the elastic band, tape and card. But it's about energy. Energy is quite cool because it can neither be created or destroyed. It can only be transferred from one form to another. And what we're going to do is use actually being able to hold or store energy in an elastic band, an elastic band which when you stretch it one more pulse. Why? <sighs> I knew that was a taint. What? Mm -hmm. Snappy back, uh, when you pull it away, I'm not doing it again this time. When you pull away, it wants to return. It pulls back against elastic. It wants to fall back into the same place. So it is pullback. So you have stored energy, stored energy, stored energy, and you let it go, kinetic, and then pain, pain energy, which isn't a thing, but actually hurts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that to be able to create and make our own rockets, do a little bit of rocket science by building all of these bits together into a little model. So with the foam rocket, we're gonna create some space in the back. So we're gonna cut some slits in the back of it. We're gonna create one slit there. So we're making four overall, spread out the same distance from each other. So it's gonna look like this. Now, why are we doing this? We're gonna put in, when you ever think of a rocket, what does it have at the base of it? Fins, so fins at the bottom of it generally, or if it has rockets that can fire in different directions to keep it going in the same way, but fins are there to be able to direct a rocket so that it will gently spin and keep heading up in the right direction. It doesn't go all over the place. It's a guided projectile. So what we're gonna to do to do that is we are going to take a sheet, oh, this is a sheet of card, and I'm just gonna cut diagonally across the corner that way to create a triangle shape like that. And then I am then going to put that same shape over this here like that. And I'm gonna cut exactly the same size. Now, again, if you're using scissors uh, and you need help, get a responsible adult to help you out. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these and we put them in one like that. Now, if I was to put this in here, will it go? It won't go through the paper. So what I need to do is put a little gap in that down there. And then this will be able to go across it, hopefully. And then you push that up a little bit. So now, what have you got? Fins, see? So you got your fins around like that. Now you want to move it up a little bit down into it like that. You get some of your tape then and just tape this round at the bottom. So now you've got your starting to look like a rocket already. Look at this, perfect. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put an elastic band on the top. So we put one over the top like this. So this is where we're gonna give our, our, uh, our rocket energy effectively, where this is gonna be our power source. So if I put a bit of tape over there like that. So now we have built our rocket so that when we pull this way, I know you can hold it down here. So we hold it down like this and we pull like this and then we let go, it will or should fly out that way and the rocket should be guided by the fins. This is where this sheet of paper comes in. So like I said, you can divide, download this from the Discovery Primary Science and Maths. I'm gonna put it up on the rte.ie website. So if you go to rte.ie forward slash learn, you'll be able to get this. So what I'm gonna do is cut out the shape exactly. So now what we have done, is we have cut this out and we have created this shape, which is of a protractor angle here. And we're gonna attach this to a ruler. So I'm gonna put this at 60 centimeters. So it's like this. So this is gonna be the tool that helps us be able to figure out what angle we're aiming at. So now what I have do, 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 is I have this on the side of my ruler or stick or whatever else you're gonna use. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be create the uh, way that actually helps us figure out this is by using a thumbtack, which I put through the string and the little paper clip that will hang down. It falls down direct. So whatever way I let this go, it will always swing back down to be falling straight down towards the ground. So if I take this, put this in here, be careful again, even though it's a thumbtack. So there we go. So now, 
So if I have holding this and the string is falling straight down, so when it lets and stops, I now know that I am at, if I read the number here, zero degrees. So it's directly parallel with the ground. When I want to turn and aim it up, 10 degrees. Aim it a bit further, 20 degrees, 30. Figure out all the way right up to 90 degrees, which angle I'm firing it out at. And we want to work scientifically to figure out like what is the best way to fire things off. So Skelly's going to catch these over here. Skelly, you ready? <laughs> Skelly, you ready? Okay, so we're going to try and fire these at different angles, but we want to do this as scientific as possible. So rather than just firing, like, is it pulling it back and giving it that much energy? Do I pull it back further? All that kind of stuff. We want to put these on the ruler pull it back to the same distance each time, a mark that we're gonna pick, and then fire it at the angle that we want. So here we're using the 70 mark, we're at 20 degrees, and we're gonna let Skelly's ready over there, you ready? <laughs> yeah, okay, here we go, three, two, one. Oh, sorry, good, good attempt at catching, Skelly, that was nearly perfect. Okay, I have another one that I've made earlier here. So this time again, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna put it on this, and where am I gonna pull it back to? I'm going to pull it back to 70 again, so firing from the same distance again, 20. This time I'm going to go to 40 and see if it goes further this time. So it's at 40 and we let go. Again, maybe outside, this might be the best because if you're pulling this back and you're going all the way up to like 90 degrees, was that 90 degrees? And then you let go and you, and you fire. Maybe don't do that because bits of dust and... So, is that hole always... Um, yeah, so send in your attempts at this to uh, rte.ie forward slash learn. Like, we'd love to see how you get on. And actually, as a nation, let's work together to figure out what's the best angle to fire stuff out. I might get fired. Um, yeah, if there was any hot, that hole was there before I was. Um, I'll see, see you next time. Don't tell anyone.